a little disclaimer i look a mess in this video okay so don't be judging me Frankie here and today I'm doing something a little bit different I am straightening my hair yes so this video as you can see my hair is already straightened but I will walk you through the steps of what I did in order to straighten my hair so I'm going to talk to you about the products that I use uh, the process that I use which all is very new to me because you know I really don't straighten my hair it's been like two years since I actually straightened my hair because the last time I straightened my hair I had horrible heat damage and I think I know why so I did things a lot different this time so I'm pretty excited I really like my results in regards to my straight hair and if I could wear my hair straight a lot of the times I probably would but I actually really love my curly hair even though shrinkage sucks so hopefully the longer my hair get, the more the shrinkage, you know, it starts to show more of my length. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Of course, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Definitely comment down below, share this video, and give it a big thumbs up if you like it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. And yes, Kelsey is here, you know, don't, don't mind her. Yeah. I, what <sighs> she's been very stubborn today so i have not messed with her her hair just looks how it looks right now dad did it which i think he did really good so um it's this is what it is so uh yeah so starting off i like to wash my hair and i did wash my hair a little bit different this time so for washing my hair i did use the aussie moist the shampoo and the conditioner so with the shampoo I do shampoo twice um, just to make sure my hair is super clean because one I've been wearing a wash and go and you know that's a lot of products and then also I've been using my color wax so I know I have to get all of that out of my hair before I actually get to straightening my hair Once I get done washing my hair, then it is time to deep condition. And then I use my hot heads cap and you know, I have several videos of me doing um, my deep conditioner, but yeah. So I use my hot heads cap and I actually left my deep conditioner on for, I want to say a couple hours because I wanted to make sure my hair was super moisturized. So for the deep conditioner, I did use the Beautiful Textures Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner. Um, this stuff is super bomb to me. I've used it a couple times before, so this is definitely one of my favorite deep conditioners. And for my leave-in conditioner, I do go in with the Nourish Me, um, by Lotta Body with Milk and Honey. You guys know this is one of my new favorites that I love to use. So I go on with this. It helps to detangle your hair. You know, it locks in moisture. It gives intense hydration. Like, it adds shine. So this stuff... I really really like this stuff so once I have detangled my hair then I go in with the Tresemme uh, keratin smooth keratin smooth with marula oil five benefits one system anti-frizz detangle shine softness tame flyaways and heat protectant up to 450 now with this particular motion you want to try to get your hair as straight as possible with the blow dryer because when you go to flat iron your hair it would just make it that much more straighter and sleek and give it a good shine so i'm trying my best but as you can see i'm i'm just not experienced with straightening my hair i don't do it often like i said in two years so it was a bit of a struggle in order to straighten my hair like at one point i literally thought 
I should have just went to the beautician or some natural hair salon and had them do like a silk press and do like my hair. But I wanted to see if I could do it myself. So you know me, I'm, I'm that type of girl. I want to see if I can do it myself, save some money and go from there. I will section my hair off uh, one at the like a basically in two parts so a back and then a, a top so I'll put the top up and I'm gonna work on And I'm taking pretty small sections in order to do this. My flat iron that I'm using is the, really? Is the, I have the box. I'm so ghetto. Um, because I just literally picked this up. So, it's the Infinity Pro by Conair. One and a half inches. Smooth and shine. It has anti-frizz protection. Heats up to 455. 15 second heat up. And bonus protective heat shield. So, it is this learn that I use and I just picked it up at my local Walmart I will you know look into investing in a different I had a really really good flat iron but it's like super old and it no longer works the same way so that's why I just went out and picked up a, a new flat iron but this flat iron actually is pretty bomb like to be not that expensive it, it works very very good so I'm basically just taking that and I'm doing the chasing method um, back in the day I did chase with my I was looking for the comb, but the rat tail comb, you know, the, the one with the small teeth. I did chase with the comb back in the day, which I didn't really see a problem with it. I kind of really liked it, but um, I've learned to try the bristle brush. So that's what I'm going in with is the bristle brush to um, basically do the chasing method because it just kind of separates more hair, gets through it more, how you want to say it. So I just use that. And it worked fairly good. Like, I really like using the uh, bristle brush on my um, hair when doing the chasing method.
So once I get to the top of my hair, I do go ahead and do my part of where I want my part to be. You guys know if you are subscribed to me and you follow me, by the way, go ahead and don't forget to hit that bell button so you will be notified. I do put videos up every Tuesday and Friday and hopefully I can add some more days to that. But right now those are the two days that kind of work for me. Um, I, You guys know I love a good side part. You know, I'm a side part type of girl. So once I get done with flatting, flat ironing all of my hair, um, I do go, I try not to do more than two to three passes on my hair just to, you know, quote that because I know I did not say it, but I try to do like two to three passes. Me, I did struggle a little bit with the, um, like top and the, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. I kind of struggled just a little bit because I'm not used to straightening my hair and my hair is not used to being straight. So we both were struggling, me and my hair. So once I have flat and everything, then I go in and I check for my ends. Now this is such a good way to see if you have split ends, if your ends need to be trimmed and things like this. So I go in with my um, professional scissors that I got from my beauty supply store. I get, I got some really good scissors just for cutting my ends because you don't want to just use any type of scissors. So I got some really good scissors and I use it just for trimming and dusting my ends. And... I go in and I, you know, as you guys can see, and I'm just kind of trimming off the dead hair and the split ends and things like that because, you know, I want my hair to be even and I want it to look healthy and, you know, so I basically do that. And once I have completed, you know, kind of trimming my hair, then I go in with a little bit of oil, which you can use any oil of your choice. I just go in with a little oil on my fingers, put a little on the ends, and then a little bit on like the top of my hair, around my edges a little bit. So pretty much that's it. If you guys have any questions for me or any video suggestions for me, definitely put them down below. And you know, subscribe, share, give it a big thumbs up. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful to someone. Um, because it, you know, definitely taught me something flatter in my own hair um, that is definitely put in work. So I applaud you naturals that want to flatter your hair every couple months or however you do it. Like, bravo, bravo. Because, honey, that is work. You're putting in work if you're doing all of the, the everything. If you're doing the shampooing, the blow drying, the flat ironing, like, it's work, okay? So I'm really hoping, you know, that... <laughs> The over time, of course, I'll get better, but I don't plan on flattering my hair that often. But when I do, you guys will know about it. Uh, definitely follow my social media, um, my Instagram at FacesBF, and then also my Snapchat at FacesByFrankie. And so I will notify you guys on there as well when I put up new videos. So that's pretty much it. It's been great. It's a beautiful day outside, so I'm about to go outside, honey, and flip this hair. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.